Isuzu were so confident that we would fall in love with the MUX, they gave us the keys to one for six months. Now we've covered almost 10,000 kilometers towing caravans and campers on the blacktop and off-road. Here are our thoughts on one of the best selling tow vehicles of 2018. When ordering ours, we asked for rubber floor mats, a must have for any camper, a snorkel and a stainless steel bull bar because we do a lot of dusty and dusk driving. As it is an LST spec, it came with leather seats, daytime running lights, side steps, a DVD player in the back for kids and more. The MUX shares most of its nuts and bolts with the popular D-MAX Ute. In Australia, we get the 4JJ1, a 3-litre turbo diesel 4-cylinder. Now, if it sounds familiar, that's because it's based off the 4J series motor, an exceptionally reliable and efficient motor found in a lot of Isuzu trucks. The MUX and D-MAX share the same engine and gearbox and a very similar chassis, but where they differ is that the MUX uses a coil sprung rear end and a shorter overall wheelbase. It means it's softer to ride and more compliant, but it also reduces the tow capacity down from 3,500 kilos for the D-MAX to 3,000 kilos for the MUX. Isuzu claim just under 8 litres per 100 kilometres combined fuel consumption. Now we see between 16 and 20 when towing, and over our 9,500 kilometres combined, we're averaging about 12. Now we have towed the majority of that time, so the numbers are going to be skewed. Inside the LST MUX is a very comfortable place to be. We've got leather seats and a very easy to read dash. The infotainment screen is centered nice and high, although a little antiquated in its design. Should you find yourself in a slightly slippery position, selectable high range is very easy to get to by the rotary knob by the driver. I've enjoyed our time with the MUX. It's performed well off-road and towed better than expected. Fuel efficiency has been great, though a bigger fuel tank would be handy. It would be good to have a higher payload, as when towing heavy vans, it is easy to get close to the maximum GMV when you have a few passengers and cargo on board. It misses out on some modern safety tech. It doesn't have emergency braking or blind spot warning. If it had both, it would rate higher. There's a certain old school charm about the MUX. The 4WJ1 motor is known to be reliable and the simplicity of it would make it the perfect match for remote tourers. 